The final four has been absent from our lives for two years, so it should come as little surprise that the two know. One seeds remaining at this juncture in the NCAA tournament are teams that have been two of the most dominant programs in the sport for the past two seasons. A national championship victory for Baylor or Gonzaga, in many ways, would represent a two-year title. Baylor started last season 24-1 and spent five weeks ranked no. 1 in the AP poll. Gonzaga, meanwhile, finished 31-2 last season and spent 14 straight weeks ranked in the top three of the AP poll. Both have been waiting for this moment and deserve the chance to shine after the COVID-19 pandemic ripped away the NCAA tournament last season. But Houston and UCLA have each shown a remarkable bit of resilience to reach the Final Four, and neither are going to go down quietly. The Cougars lost AAC preseason player of the year Caleb Mills to transfer earlier this season, and the Bruins lost last year's leading scorer Chris Smith after just eight games. Both have persevered through the adversity to reach the sport's pinnacle. Here are three storylines to watch as we get ready for the action. If Gonzaga can finish off its perfect season and become the first undefeated national champion since Indiana in 1976, it'll touch off a likely endless debate about where the Bulldogs belong among college basketball's all-time great teams. Aside from the 1976 Hoosiers, UCLA went undefeated four times under John Wooden, and North Carolina and San Francisco each did it in the 1950s. Comparing teams from different eras is a challenge, though. But what about 21st century teams? At minimum, Gonzaga's 31-2 season last year paired with a 32-0 record this year would easily constitute the greatest two-year run since Florida's repeat titles in 2006 and 2007. If there's a flaw with Gonzaga, perhaps it's that the Bulldogs have virtually no experience in close games. They have won all but one game by at least 10 points, and their closest victory was an 87-82 win over West Virginia on December 2. Sure, the Zags had to claw back from a half-time deficit against BYU in the WCC championship game, but they handled that task well enough to win by 10 points in the end. UCLA, on the other hand, has played six overtime games this season and has a 4-2 record in those contests. The Bruins have been to overtime twice in this NCAA tournament and are fresh off a thrilling 51-49 regulation victory over Michigan in the Elite Eight. If UCLA can somehow drag Gonzaga into the mud and create a close game, perhaps the Bruins would have an experience edge in a close finish. The Baylor-Houston game may be the most appetizing backcourt battle imaginable in college basketball this season. Houston's deep well of gritty guards are a problem defensively, but Baylor counters with a similarly deep group of shooters and playmakers who will provide Houston with its toughest challenge of the season.